Hello, I'm Bobby Galuba with Ubitech.com and welcome to my 13th video recorded on Sunday, May 22nd, 2016. Do you have vertical blinds that look like this, where some of the blind sections are missing? Well, today I'm going to show you how you may be able to fix them. Now, if you're lucky, hopefully the reason why your um, sections of your blind are broken are not because of the little holders up here being broken. Hopefully these are still intact. If you see, this is these are what uh, hold the blind sections in place and they have a little area where the that the blind slides into and they lock in place. And hopefully those aren't broken on yours. And as you can see on mine, they look good. Let's check the one down here as well. And that one look good. That one looks good also. So let's take a look at the blinds themselves. Now, if you're lucky, the reason why each section of blind may have broken out of the little uh, track is that a section of the plastic of this uh, segment of the blind has been ripped out and that's uh, fairly easy to fix. Now we're not going to be able to fix this end but what we'll do is we'll use the other end. We'll take a new, we'll take a good section of uh, blind and we'll lay it over the opposite end of this section of blind and we'll use this pencil to trace out a new hole and then we'll use this box cutter or razor to cut out the hole. Okay, so let's see how that's done. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to get an undamaged section of the blind and use its hole as a template to make a new hole for the damaged section of blind that I have. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the damaged section and I'm going to slide it up in here so that I can use it to pop out Hopefully I can use it to pop out this section of undamaged blind without damaging it. Okay, so there we go. I was able to get both of them out of there uh, and I didn't damage uh, the undamaged portion of the blind. So I'll use this hole as a, uh, let me see if I can get it to focus here. I'll use this hole as a template for tracing out a new hole on the opposite ends of my da of my damaged sections of my blind. Okay, so what I have here now is my good section of blind right here, and I have it overlaid on top of the opposite end of my bad section of blind. So at the other end of this section of blind um, is the hole that's been ripped out, okay, or the edge of it uh, has been ripped out. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this good piece of blind, this good section of blind, and I'm going to line it up with the end of this bad section of blind here, okay? And then I'm going to use my pencil that I have, my mechanical lead pencil, and I'm going to trace out another hole in the end of my bad section of blind. So right now, let's see, there we go, let's get it nice and dark, okay, so I just traced out another hole, and let's see what it looks like, okay, so there you can see I've got the original hole from my good section of blind, and I have the traced outline that I'm going to use to cut a new hole in this bad section of blind. So let me get my box cutter and we'll cut that out. Let's move this old or this new section or the good section out of the way. And I've got my box cutter. And you want to make sure it's good and sharp. So let's go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut just outside the pencil mark that I made. and you want to do it on a hard surface like tile which I'm doing it on and don't do it on anything that you're gonna damage or that you don't want to get damaged if you cut or when you cut through 
the blind. So don't do it on a table or any wood that you uh, don't want to get scratched up. The tile I don't think is going to get damaged, so that's why I'm using the tile, because it's nice and hard and flat. This one you might have a hard time seeing. I think my hand will probably be in the way there. But I think you got the idea. Oops. And actually, you want to make sure that you lock your blade in place by pulling that little tab out, which is what I forgot to do. Let's cut around the bottom here. Oops, went a little bit outside, but that'll be all right. Let's see if that's good enough. Let's cut a little bit more. If it makes it easier, you can turn it around the other way to make it easier to cut. So almost got it out of there. Let's cut a little bit more, and there we go. Okay, and let me just trim this up just a bit. Get that last little sliver off of there. Okay, so now let's compare it to the good section. All right, so here's here's the little piece that I cut out, actually. All right, right there, there's the little piece. Here's my new hole, and then let's compare it to the good section of blind that we have. So look, the holes are pretty pretty good. Let's see, pretty uh, mat pretty well matched up. Let's line them up, and uh, let me just compare them. Put the put the old one or the bad one that I just repaired on top of the new one, and see how the holes match up. And let's see. I'd say I'd say that's fairly good. Let's see if we can zoom in there and get a get a better look, see if it'll focus, uh, maybe not, let's zoom out just a little bit, and there we go. So we have a new hole that I cut in the opposite end of the damaged section of blind, and I'll do that to the rest of the sections as well. Okay, so I finished cutting holes in the opposite ends uh, from the damaged end of each of the damaged section of vertical blind that I had to repair and now what I'll do is I'll slide the last section back into the track okay so there's the little holder in the track and let me slide it in between there and there it goes it just locks into place alright so let's take a look see what they look like here and there we go now all of my sections of vertical blind uh, uh, excuse me, all of the sections of my vertical blinds have been fixed and now I can close them and have some privacy. Now uh, one drawback to this repair is that you will have um, ends of your mini blinds that look a little damaged if you look closely. Okay, so you're gonna have these little ends here where my finger is that um, you know won't look good so you may not you may not want to do this type of repair but if you want something cheap and quick that's a good way to do it now another uh, two other tips that I thought of while I was doing this repair is that when you're sliding the blinds around on the floor it's best to have the end that you're not working with over the carpet if you can 
or some other soft surface like a towel so that it doesn't get scuffed up and have the end that you're going to cut over the tile and then another tip is that while you have them out you may also want to wash the sections that you have to repair because they do get dirty at the bottom um, because of uh, just wear and tear and you know people bumping into them and uh, other things getting on them so you may want to wash each section as well so if I have to do these repairs again what I'll do is I'll take each one of those sections that I have to repair and just wash them real quick now one other tip which I thought of is that if you have to repair one section more than once what you can do is you're gonna have uh, a damaged section on both ends so what you can do is if you don't mind the section of blind being a little bit shorter is that you can just cut off a little bit from the end and you'll have a nice new section to work with and cut another hole in another hole in at the end okay so again if uh, say this section of blind was damaged twice and I have damage on both ends what I can do is I can take uh, say a ruler I'll uh, lay the section of blind down flat on the floor I'll draw a straight line across it just above the hole and then I'll take a razor blade or my box cutter and cut that short section off and then trace and cut another hole at the clean end all right the section will be a little bit shorter but chances are nobody's gonna notice unless they look really close and you'll have a cheap and easy repair again okay so this was just a quick video on how to repair damaged sections of your vertical blinds I'm Bobby Galuba with ubitech.com thanks for watching and I hope you learned something take care